Hi everybody. We explore the complexity of human behavior, relationships, and the subtle patterns defining our contacts with others. If you're new here, remember to mark the subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and ring the notification bell to avoid missing our provocative conversations. Today we will investigate a really fascinating question. Can narcissists live alone without a partner? This subject clarifies the core essence of narcissism and questions several popular opinions on these people. We must first examine what we mean by survive before we can start to determine if a narcissist can survive on her own without a relationship. In this perspective, survival is not just about the fundamental capacity for existence or survival, but also about rather. We are exploring the psychological and emotional domains. That is, whether a narcissist can preserve their sense of identity, self-worth, and psychological well-being free from the continual validation from a spouse. A complex and multifarious personality quality. Narcissism is typified by a grandiose sense of self-importance, a great desire for adulation, and a lack of empathy for others. Often showing a sense of entitlement, narcissists believe they are better than everyone around them and want particular treatment. But this inflated self-image usually covers a frail ego and underlying anxiety. Underneath it all, narcissists are frequently driven by a continual need for outside validation to support their self-worth and by feelings of inadequacy. Relationships are among the most important means narcissists find validation. Mirrors reflecting back the image the narcissist wants to see include friends, partners, even strangers. Particularly a spouse is expected to offer a consistent flow of compliments, respect, and attention. The relationship moves from one of mutual connection to one of meeting the narcissist's ravenous need for approval. This reliance on outside affirmation begs the issue of what happens without a companion for a narcissist. Can they really thrive on their own? At first look, the response could seem clear-cut. After all, narcissists are renowned for their independence, confidence, and ability to present a picture of invulnerability. They seem to be rather self-dependent, able of surviving in any environment. Still, this outer seam is usually deceptive. Actually, narcissists are quite dependent on the approval they get from others, especially from a close relationship. They're carefully put up front, may start to fall apart without this validation, exposing the underlying great insecurities. A narcissist may have a great sense of emptiness and worthlessness when they are by themselves without a spouse to offer continual adulation and attention. This is so because their self-worth is created on the validation and acceptance of others rather than within of them. They could struggle to keep their sense of identity and might even develop despair or anxiety without a partner to help them to reflect back their idealized self-image. This is especially true for narcissists who have mostly depending on their spouses to increase their self-esteem and provide them a direction. Moreover, the lack of a spouse could result in what is called a narcissistic damage. When the narcissist's self-esteem is attacked or destroyed, a narcissistic damage results in emotions of shame, guilt, or anger follow. Being alone can seem to a narcissist as a failure, a failure to keep control, to be praised, or to be loved. This can cause a narcissistic damage that results in a spectrum of bad feelings and actions ranging from wrath and violence to retreat and depression. Still, not all narcissists will respond to being alone in the same manner. There is a spectrum of narcissism, so based on the degree of their narcissistic features and their particular situation, various people may handle solitude differently. Being alone may be intolerable for certain narcissists, which drives them to rapidly find new relationships or even control their way back into the life of past spouses. They might battle strong emotions of worthlessness, anxiety, and loneliness and would go to great lengths to avoid these emotions by surrounding themselves with fresh sources of affirmation. Conversely, some narcissists could be able, at least temporarily, 
preserve their self-image even without a spouse, to satisfy their desire for appreciation and attention. These people could go to other forms of validation including job, social media, or casual encounters. Using these activities as a means of boosting their self-esteem and diverting their attention from the emptiness they experience within, they could become totally engrossed in their jobs, interests, or social group. Even for these narcissists, though, the lack of a close spouse can be difficult since they might ultimately discover that these other forms of validation are less dependable or fulfilling than a love partner. Additionally worth noting in this context the function of narcissistic supply. The attention, respect, and validation a narcissist need to keep his or her self-esteem intact is known as their narcissistic supply. In a relationship, a partner usually turns out to be the main source of narcissistic gratification. Whether the narcissist is alone or whether the spouse is no longer giving the required degree of attention, when this supply is cut off, the narcissist may go through withdrawal symptoms akin to those of an addict deprived of their addiction. Seeking fresh supply to cover the void, they could get restless, nervous, and frantic. A narcissist's capacity to acquire narcissistic supply may be quite restricted without a spouse, although other sources such social media or casual encounters could give some degree of validation. These sources might not give the same continuous, intimate validation that a partner offers. The narcissist may thus find themselves progressively irritated and frantic, trying to preserve their self-esteem and the lack of a companion. Some narcissists can thrive alone without a relationship in spite of these difficulties, especially if they are able to adapt and discover fresh validation. Still, this survival frequently comes with a price. The narcissist could grow more alienated, more self-conscious, and more reliant on outside validation to uphold their self-worth without a relationship. Seeking the approval they require from others around them, they could also grow more exploitative and manipulative in their contacts with others. Sometimes being alone might even cause the narcissist's conduct to momentarily improve. They might grow more contemplative and less concerned in upholding their grandiose self-image without a spouse to shape or manage. This reflection, however, is sometimes fleeting since the narcissist's need for affirmation finally pulls them back into old behaviors. In the end, even if some narcissists could be able to survive on their own, they are not likely to flourish without the continuous validation and attention a spouse offers. Can narcissists thus thrive without a partner? The response is nuanced and relies on a range of elements, including their personal situation, degree of narcissistic tendencies, and capacity to locate fresh validation. Being alone is a very unpleasant experience that many narcissists find threatening their sense of self and compels them to face their fears. They could struggle to keep their self-esteem and might even suffer from a narcissistic damage without a spouse to give the validation they require. Still, it's critical to keep in mind that narcissists are flexible and creative people. Whether through employment, social media, or casual connections, people could find means to get the recognition they require even without a partner. Although they might not be able to survive without a spouse, at least temporarily, they could be able to thrive. In the end, the issue of whether a narcissist can survive without a spouse reminds us of the extremely delicate and dependent character of narcissism. To keep their self-esteem, narcissists are quite dependent on the approval and attention of others, even if they seem to be confident and independent. Without a partner, they could find it difficult to keep their self-image and might grow more desperate and manipulative in their need of approval. Although some people could be able to adjust and survive, the lack of a partner usually reveals the core of narcissism, deep fears and vulnerabilities. I much appreciate you joining in today and helping to shape this conversation. This examination of narcissism and loneliness should have enlightened and provoked you. Should you have fun viewing this video, kindly mark it with a thumbs up, forward it to others who could find use for it. 
and remember to subscribe should you not already. I am immensely grateful for your support. It means the world to me. I also look forward traveling this road of knowledge about human behavior with you. Take care of yourselves and keep in mind, understanding the complexity of narcissism is a road towards better, more satisfying relationships. Until next time.